Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on probability and specifically we're going to be talking about finding the probability of an event using a deck of playing cards. So I love games, love games of chance, love playing with cards, so this should be interesting. So make sure you have supplies like paper and pencil and if you don't have it with you right now, pause the video, go get it and come on back. So our learning target for today says that students will be able to compute the probability of an event involving a deck of playing cards. So this is the standard that we're working on. We're working on probability of an event. And these are simple events that we're talking about today. Simple probability as opposed to compound. So before we can get started, let's review what we already know about regular decks of cards. So I'm going to kind of zoom in here a little bit. So for a regular deck of playing cards, we already know that there are 52 cards in a regular deck of playing cards. And that number 52 is going to be pretty important to us today because it's going to be the denominator in all of our fractions because we're everything is going to be out of 52 because there are 52 cards in a deck. So when I get ready to simplify my fractions, it's kind of important that I know what the factors of 52 are, and I have listed those for you down here at the bottom. You can divide 52 by 1, 2, 4, 13, 26, and 52 without getting a remainder. So those are the factors of 52 that we'll use to simplify our fractions. Now, we also know that decks of cards are made up of numbered cards and face cards. Here we have what are called aces, and those are usually just have one on each. Sometimes if you're playing blackjack or whatever, that can also count as 11. But for our purposes today, it's going to be an odd number of one for all of our aces. And then the numbers go from 1 basically to 10. And then we have what are called our face cards. And they're called face cards because they have faces on them. They're the faces of the jacks, the queens, and the kings. Now, you can, lots of decks of cards could have some interesting things. If you kind of notice, some of the jacks have one eyes. Some of them have two. So if you're ever watching a movie or something and they say, one-eyed jacks are wild, that's why. Because if you look like right here, you can kind of see that this one, he only has one eye because he's turned to the side. All right, there are also four suits of cards in a deck of playing cards, and those are hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. The clubs look like clovers, and if you don't play a lot of cards, sometimes you'll hear somebody say clover. Um, but we actually call those clubs and then the spades are at the bottom and most people can recognize the hearts and the diamonds. So that's just a quick review of important information we're going to need to be able to answer our question. So let's jump right in. And remember, you can always pause the video to work out the problems and then come back to the video to check your answers. We're going to do five examples today. So example number one says, if asked to choose one card at random, what is the probability that you will pull an even numbered diamond card? Write your answer as a simplified fraction. An even numbered diamond card. So you can pause the video, see if you can come up with an answer and then turn it back on. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on my even numbers and my diamonds. So my diamonds are here, and an even number would be 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. The face cards don't actually have numbers. Lots of times in games you'll count them as 10, but they don't actually have a number. So there are actually only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards that are even numbered and diamond. So five out of 52 of the cards are even numbers and also a diamond card. Now I have to also make sure I ask myself if there's anything in my list of factors of 52 that I could also divide five by and the only thing is one and I don't really wanna divide by one because then I would just have five over 52 again. So why waste my time, right? So our answer for example number one would be 5 over 52. 
If you got that one right, make sure you like give yourself a little check. And if you didn't get it right, make sure you understand what you did wrong and just correct it. All right, example number two says, if asked to choose one card at random, what is the probability that you will choose a king or queen? A king or a queen. Well, I know I have four queens and I have four kings right here for a total of eight out of 52. Remember our denominator for today is 52 every single time because there are 52 cards in the deck. Now, I already know I can simplify this fraction because 8 and 52 are both even numbers. So I know I can divide them by both by 2. But if I can divide by 2, I always like to try 4 also. And it just so happens that I can divide them both by 4, which is going to give me 2 over 13. So the probability that I would choose a king or a queen is 2 out of 13. And remember, you could take this further and change it into a percent by dividing the numerator by denominator, but our problem asks us to leave it as a fraction, so that's what we're going to do. All right, let's move on to example three. If asked to choose one card at random, what is the probability that you will choose a red seven? Write your answer as a simplified fraction. Well, if I zoom in, I only have two red sevens. Okay, I have a heart and I have a diamond. So 2 out of 52, those are both even numbers. So of my check my factors over here. I know I can divide them both by 2, which is going to give me 1 out of 26, which is my answer. So I have a 1 in 26 chance of choosing a red 7. Example four, and remember if I'm going too fast, you can always rewind the video and um, go over the problem again. If asked to choose one card at random, what is the probability that you will not choose a king of spades? Write your answer as a simplified fraction. Well, I only have one king of spades, but I have to be careful because this problem says not choose a king of spades. So that means I have 53 other cards, I'm sorry, 51 other cards that are not a king of spades. So I actually have a 51 out of 52, which would be very likely that almost certain, but not quite, but very likely that I would choose, not choose a king of spades. And I cannot simplify that. There's nothing that I can divide both of those by except one. So this is my final answer. All right, we're going to do one more example problem. Take a minute, read the problem. Um, if you need to stop the video, work it out, and then come back. If asked to choose one card at random, what is the probability that you will choose a club? Write your answer as a simplified fraction. Well, I know all of these cards are clubs, and if I counted them up, I would know that 13, because we have 10 numbered cards, and then we have three face cards, so 13 out of the 52 cards are clubs, and I have to be careful, because a lot of students will leave this this way, but that is not my final answer, because I can see that 13 is a factor of 52, and so I can divide them both by 13. And so my final answer is 1 fourth. And that kind of makes sense because one of my four rows is a row of clubs. So I have a one in four chance of choosing a club. All right, we have completed our little mini lesson for today. Um, we definitely are able to compute the probability of an event using a deck of playing cards. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or comment in the comment section. Thank you. Have a great day. See you in the next video.